Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss probability. Remember to subscribe to the channel and to share the link with friends. In number 21, we are told that uh, the probability that our school will host soccer and rugby tournament this year is 0 0.8. If we host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.7. If we don't host, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.4. If we win soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. Otherwise, if we lose, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.3. Part A, draw a tree diagram to represent this information. So we're going to begin with a tree diagram to represent all these events. Uh, the first one is about uh, hosting a tournament of rugby and soccer. So we can talk of, first of all, hosting and not hosting. So that if the probability of hosting the tournament is 0 0.8, then the probability of not hosting will be 0 0.2. After hosting, we are told that uh, the probability of winning soccer is 0 0.7. Therefore, on this option of hosting, now we go to what will happen for soccer. So we can win in soccer or lose in soccer. And winning in soccer after hosting is 0 0.7. That means losing in soccer is 0 0.3 because Losing and winning in soccer are two mutually exclusive events, and their probabilities should give us one. That is why the other probability is becoming the difference from one automatically. Again, hosting and not hosting are two mutually exclusive events, and that is why, because we're given the probability of hosting as 0 0.8, then the probability of not hosting comes automatically 0 0.2. We are told further that if we don't host, the probability of winning in soccer is 0 0.4. So if we don't host, we can still win in soccer or fail to win. So we can still win in soccer or fail to win in soccer. And winning in soccer when we don't host is 0 0.4. That means losing in soccer when we don't host is now 0 0.6 because they are again mutually exclusive events. We are also told that uh, if we win soccer, the probability of winning rugby is 0 0.8. If we win soccer, so this option of winning soccer now we extend, say, if we win soccer, what happens to rugby is either a win or a lose. And winning in rugby is 0 0.8. That means losing in rugby, 0 0.2, when we have a win in soccer. We also have another win in soccer here, whereby now we will say, because we have won in soccer, we have winning in rugby or losing in rugby, and winning in rugby is 0 0.8 according to the instructions, and the losing now becomes 0 0.2. Otherwise, if we lose in soccer, winning in rugby is 0 0.3. So if we have lost in soccer, now winning in rugby becomes 0 0.3. So for this one, we can again have the two outcomes for rugby. And the win here now becomes 0 0.3. That means the loss 0 0.7. The same happens at this point. For rugby, we can win or lose in rugby. And winning in rugby, 0 0.3, because there is a loss in soccer. That means uh, losing 0 0.7. So now we can outline, because these are, this is now the probability tree diagram. Now we can outline the possible outcomes at the end of the tree diagram.
let me start with the first one we have hosting then we win soccer and we also win in rugby there is hosting then we win soccer but lose in rugby there is hosting then we lose soccer but win in rugby there is hosting then we lose soccer and we also lose in rugby then after that there is not hosting but we win soccer and also rugby not hosting but we win soccer then lose in rugby not hosting we lose soccer but we win in rugby then finally we have not hosting we lose soccer and we also lose in rugby so these are the possible outcomes from those events now we can proceed to the questions use the tree diagram to find part one the probability that we lose both games so the probability of losing in both games we have uh, losing in both games we have this option whereby we fail to host and we lose both losing again in both we have this one hosting then we lose in both so it's either probability hosting then we lose the two games or probability we fail to host and we lose the two games so let me check the specific probabilities remember or means addition in probability so in the first case we start with probability hosting which is 0 0.8 times probability losing in soccer which is 0 0.3 0 0.3 and also losing in rugby after losing in soccer losing in rugby is 0 0.7 0 0.7 or which means addition not hosting which is 0 0.2 then we lose in rugby and soccer so losing in soccer is 0 0.6, then in rugby 0 0.7. So we can now carry out the multiplications. See what we we'll get. Can begin with the 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.7. Then we add. 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.7 this is going to give us exactly 0 0.252 so that is the probability we lose in both games the next question is saying we calculate the probability that we will win only one game only one game so the probability of winning in only one game only one game um, we are going to we're going to start with this only one game this one is also one game probability of winning in only one game another case is here whereby it's only one game where there is a win and also this one there are four possible outcomes we can host win soccer alone but lose in rugby we host we lose in soccer but win in rugby we can fail to host we win soccer but lose in rugby and we also have this other option whereby we can fail to host we lose in soccer but win in rugby so let me now bring on board the four possibilities we have hosting winning soccer so 0 0.8 winning soccer 0 0.7 but now we lose in rugby which is 0 0.2 the next we have hosting 0 0.8 then we lose in soccer 0 0.3 0 0.3 
0 0.8, we lose in soccer 0 0.3, but we win in rugby. But we win in rugby. So winning in rugby is going to be 0 0.3 again. Yeah, because losing in soccer is 0 0.3 and winning in rugby is 0 0.3 or so. Therefore, we have 0 0.3. The other case is the third case here, whereby we can fail to host and we win in soccer, but lose in rugby. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 .2, 0 .4, then 0 0.2, and finally, and finally, we are failing to host. We lose soccer, but win in rugby. So that is 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3. 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3. 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3. The last one, yeah, 0 0.3. So we can now carry out all these multiplications and we add them. Let me compute. We begin with 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.2. Then we add 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 once again. Then we add 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.2. And finally, we add 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.3. This is 0 0.236. 0 0.236. That is the probability of winning in only one game. We have another question here two more. The probability that we will we will host and lose both games. The probability that we will host and lose both games. That means probability hosting, then we lose both games. So probability of hosting is 0 0.8. After hosting, losing soccer is 0 0.3. Then after losing soccer. After losing in soccer 0 0.3, losing in rugby will be 0 0.7. That is hosting and losing both games. So we're going to have 0 0.8 by 0 0.3 by 0 0.7, 0 0.168. And finally, Find the probability that we win at least one game if we host. We win at least one game if we host. So if we host, the probability of winning in at least a game. So these are the options now we have. This is all of them are, are hosting. Then we want the probability of winning in at least a game probability that we win at least one game so at least there is a win so we're going to have the first case the second case and the third case winning at least a game so we have hosting then winning both hosting we win in soccer but lose in rugby hosting we lose soccer but win rugby so we're going to have 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.8 multiplied or so we add the second case 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.2 so we have 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.2 then finally 
we're going to 